Hey everyone, I'm Sarah Squires, the Nurturing Coach, and I've been inspired to record this because I'm in a lot of groups around parental alienation and co-parenting with narcissists, and family court obviously comes up a lot because we know the narcissists love that arena. But I wanted to talk about why healing is your best chance of success. Sorry, the slide won't move, give a second. So, healing versus unhealed. So the reality is that an unhealed person can find offence in pretty much anything someone else does. Whereas a healed person understands that the actions of others have nothing to do with them. And each day you get to decide which one you will be. And I'm going to talk through why this is so important in the family court environment. So first off, family court as the rescuer. So family court was designed to protect children, but obviously there's so much money which is now involved. The cost of going to court has increased rapidly. The cost of solicitors, judges, salaries, all of that. It's now made it into a battleground because there has to be a winner when there's that much at stake, someone has to win. And the children are seen as being the ultimate prize. Unfortunately, in most battles, there are two sides, the defender and the attacker. Within family dynamics, what this really means is there's an abuser and then there's the victim or the rescuer. Both you and your ex are looking to the court to rescue you. You want your them to control your ex's behaviour, to reinstate your relationship with your children or just to stop them from basically being dickheads or bitches. And they, your ex, want the court to punish you because that's part of the abusive agenda. So this is, but this is how it presents. This is what it looks like. Let me just move my screen a little bit. There you go. So the family court ends up playing a role as an abuser here because we've got abuser, victim, and rescuer. So what the narrative is is that you are the abuser, your ex is the victim, but obviously they also use the children to present it. So therefore there has to be a rescuer. So what's really happening is the children are rescuing your ex, but they present, the ex will present as being their rescuer. But what's really happening is they're looking to the court to rescue them. They're playing the help me, help me card. What's happening in reality is it's your ex that the, is, is the abuser. The victim is you and the children. And again, you are looking to rescue your children, but ultimately you're looking at the court process to rescue you and the children. Unfortunately, in this little triangle, the children also play the role of abuser. They will abuse you by saying lies and, and treating you quite badly at times. So again, you look to the court to sort this out. But what about the process? The process itself can be abusing with you as the victim. Who is the rescuer? The children, it's not the children's responsibility to rescue you. Your ex is certainly not going to rescue you. So what do you do? So who is gonna rescue you? At the minute, you're looking to the judge and the court order. Maybe the social worker in their reports, or maybe you're hoping that the children will just see the light and wake up and snap out of this, and that will change everything. As long as you seek anyone outside of yourself to rescue you, though, you are playing into this dynamic, which isn't in your control, it's in your ex's control. They control the victim and the rescuer roles, which only leaves one left for you. So how do we change this? Well, healing is the answer because when you're wounded, you project, you project your behavior. This is what your ex is doing, but you have to be honest and see that at times maybe you have done these things too. Project behavior onto others. So when you've healed, what you do is you accept your responsibility for your mistakes and you seek to learn from them. What your ex is doing is they gaslight, they tie people up in lies, they make them twist their version of reality. When you are healed, you are honest and authentic at all times and you own your own 
feelings, the good and the bad, and you take responsibility for managing them and moving them from anger to at least peace and relief. If you can get to happiness, even better. Your ex continuously plays the victim, and at times, this is what you do. I know this because I'm in a lot of groups, and this is kind of what pushed me into creating this. When you play the victim, everyone's against you. The whole world has got it in for you. There's a big conspiracy. Everyone's biased. No one's listening. And I get why you think that. But when you play the victim, you are playing back into that narrative, that triangle that we've just looked at. When you have healed, you'd see the good in life and in others. And yes, even in this situation, when you are healed, you will be able to find good in this situation. You think, and I'm probably aging myself, but think back to the 80s. There was a guy called Terry Waite who was held captive for many, many years. And he found peace in what must have been hell. He didn't know if he was ever going to see his family again. And yet he came out of that healed. He didn't come out angry and bitter. He came out healed. And that is the difference. People that are wounded, they lack empathy. So if you're healed, you are kind and compassionate and you don't take things personally. Right now it feels personal, but it's not. It's really not. And when you're able to own that and able to see that what other people are doing are their actions, you take responsibility for your actions, then you find that peace and you're able to be much more kind and compassionate. Even when things don't go your way, wounded people use people. But a healed person or someone on their path to healing is respectful of others we even when they're not showing respect because we understand that that there's something going on for them that they're unhappy that they're taking it out on you and it's nothing to do with you the reason that we feel hurt when someone has a go at us is because they are scratching at something that is unhealed within us and finally when you're wounded you are controlling you expect everyone else to do what you want to do because you feel really like you have no control over your own life. You expect everyone else to do things for you and everything should go your way and you get angry if it doesn't. When you are healing, you accept that everyone is entitled to their own opinion and they will make mistakes. And it's okay to make mistakes because you've made peace with making mistakes. And so you don't get angry when they do. You accept it's a human mistake. Can you see how changing those behaviours, how that healing process can massively change the narrative that you started off with? The person with the true power in this situation is the one who is prepared to heal the parts of themselves which are hurting. They're not looking for anyone else to do that for them, not looking to the court to heal that, not looking to the court to rescue or the social worker or your ex or the children or anyone else. You feel inner peace at all times, which means you are way less affected by the behaviour of others. And that inner peace impacts your behaviour, which unpicks the narrative that you are angry and you are aggressive and you are controlling because you're not, you're at peace. And when your inner world changes, the outer world has to change to reflect that. It really does. That's physics. There's, you cannot deny that when you start to look at the world in a better place, from, from rose, through your rose-tinted spectacles, when you look at the world and you are happy, you see the blue in the sky, you hear the birds chirping. When you're in a bad mood and you hear the birds chirping, you think that they're out to annoy you. So when you change that inner world, the outer world reflects that, and that is what will lead to your success. You're ready to be your own hero and start your healing journey. And it's specially designed the Get Caught Ready program to do this. This focus is solely on healing you so that you best present in court. It looks at the narrative that the ex has created and how you can better present that, how you can use language, how you can control your emotions and take responsibility for how you are feeling, how you can heal the parts of you that are causing you to get so angry and upset, and how you can then help the children through this process with everything that you have learned. 
If you are ready to be your own hero, then head to the nurturingcoach.co.uk forward slash get caught ready program. And I look forward to seeing you there. Take care, everyone. Bye bye.